So guys, although I'm doing a potato reveal as well, I thought I'd give you a quick end of the month tour. <laughs> I just spotted something wonderful in the flower bed. But I'll show you after. Um, these are the tomatoes that I started from Shop Bought Seed. And I've only got one of these, or I only kept one of them. And these are supposed to be the date tomatoes, as you can see they're putting them on. Right. But these are a yellow um, variety, what I got from Jay in Germany. I can't remember the name for them, but look how many flowers there is on a truss. These are like, just put so many tomatoes out. Now they're all a little bit yellow. I've bought some tomato food today, some bio tomato food. That, by the way, is one of them cuttings what, oh, cuttings, it weren't a cutting, it were a, um, a runner. And it's straight away flowering, see? That's a mature plant straight away, so as soon as the flower, the uh, as soon as you, they get, get root, they'll set flower. They've got to go. Uh, I did trim the old cherry, now it's been picked. We've got a load more cherries off for another friend's tree, as it goes. I'll cut top off there, get two new leaders, because that had split. And now what weather's like it is, it's dry, so it's the right time to do it. Um, that's the bed I took the shallots out, and there as well, yeah. Um, I put a load of lettuce in it. Some of them did dry up. I wet this bed through and I've watered it religiously. I've got two rows of car carrots in here, but it's been like 30 odd degrees, so. While I was out shopping today, I bought another pack of 12 lettuce, just in case I will plant some more seed anyway. Obviously I still haven't pulled onions. Um, these carrots are doing well down here. Just had a really windy day, so everything's a bit blown over. Last night were really, really windy. But all peas are ready now, should be picking them now. These are other carrots. <coughs> They're quite nice sized carrots, look. Should I pull one and show you? Let's pull that one. That's a carrot, isn't it? Huh? They were direct planted. Oh well, got two there, look. But that's what you expect from a carrot. These are savoy cabbages. Now, I didn't realise they were so big. <laughs> As you can see, that's massive. That is four foot across, that cabbage. Um, I've got six of them in. One, two aren't doing... Well, they're all heading up. But they're not bad. Uh, sprouts in middle here. But that's a good head of cabbage there. Sprouts in the middle. Uh, I had some more broccoli up at the front, but I had two little harvests off that but it's the centres have rotted not enough uh, airflow so I'm gonna pull I'm gonna cut them out. Uh, watermelons look I've got watermelons <laughs> they're not very big but the watermelons as it is there's two on that I'm getting far too many cores yet so I only ever do one plant these I'm, I've had an, another couple of harvest uh, another harvest sorry off the uh, beets and there's another harvest there or two salad going on Look, pick, I'm, take, I'm taking three courgettes off every day three or four corn's all in flower so that's good looking forward to getting some corn this is the kaido squash uh, yeah no tahitan squash I've not seen any female flowers or squash forming as yet. Oh incidentally, okra. Should have some okra soon. Sweet potatoes. There is another sweet potato under there somewhere. Yakon. Uh, trail of tears beans. Nah, there should be some beans on here. There's some on these. They're the uh, monastery beans. They're very good. So I'll be picking some of them soon. They've all slid down pole because I saw we had that much wind. I've still got loads of red currants and black currants. And I've had, we've got, I think, uh, 10 half litre jars of jam so far. And we'll get another 10 or 20, maybe even, the amount we've got. Uh, these are the uh, curry squash, yeah. And I've got some nice squash on, as you can see. Spotted several in there. 
Let's start off some more. There's one over there. Some more in here with smaller ones. Some more female flowers on. So that's sort of to cover that area which it were intended to. Grapes. I'm not showing you grapes ever. But they're grapes. And I found this today in here. It's sprouting because it's it's broke surface. So now uh, I did say before all my potatoes are Charlotte's, but there are two potatoes which were shop boats. So that, I'm going to replant that and see what comes of it, if anything. Set corn's looking all right. Looking forward to corn and beans, I always do. And I'll show you what's happening in greenhouse. Oh, go over this bed quick. They're just, again, bush beans. Um, I've done really well out of broccoli this year. I've got some more in, as you might have seen before. These are some more radishes, broccoli. Uh, and stuff you've seen them, spring onions and more beets. Everything's looking a little pale, so I did buy some, like I said, bio plant food, liquid plant food to get this lot. Here's uh, eggplant. But I've got loads of tomatoes on. They've got some peppers, nice peppers forming all around. I don't know how many uh, cucumbers. We've had loads, as you can see, there's still loads on. One, two, three. Yeah, it's five or six just there. So they're doing all right, taking over. And that's about it. I'll say all the peppers have got peppers on as well. Even that pathetic little thing there. And we'll see what we get. I've got to put some uh, basil in here as well. As you can see, oh, there the carrots look. <laughs> they're doing quite well also. And this is what I've done with Spudinator. What I'm going to do is take this bucket. These are dry now. I haven't been watering them because they died off. Pointless watering them if they're dead. But I thought... Uh, next year, I should be able to get looking at it. M minimum six buckets in. Probably seven. Four I, so four sevens. <coughs> 28. I could get 28 buckets in that. So like that. And if... I was to harvest them all at the same time. Say for instance, look, I'm getting beans off here and all, look. Harvest them all at the same time, when they're finished, and store them, then I could replant them like this, can't I? There's five bean plants in that, which I just planted direct from seed, so they're just some radishes. All multi-sown. I like that multi-sown idea. Mr Charles Dowling, that works really well. Work really well with everything gone that I've done like that, so I'll be doing all my modules like that. Radishes, beets and stuff. multi sown works really good. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that one. That's off the other side. Don't remember whether I put any garden soil in that. Or whether I just or whether I just put normal uh, bird poop fertilizer in it. So I'll take that and see what we get. So guys, my potatoes, these are sputtering it from the other side as you've probably just seen. Bought a new tool today, our therapy shopping. Yeah. I've got number two son helping me today. This is my little helper. Come stand around there, Joe. That's it. Stand there, you can see, can't you, better? And Joel's helping me. That'll be alright for five francs. It's got two sharp edges on it. And normally not sharp, but I thought for money. And while I was out, I bought a scale. Like some professional now. What is that? Ah, it's for weighing the potatoes. See how many we get. And now I don't have to steal mummies. And I've got a funny story for you. Funny story. Funny story. Well, it's not really funny. Kids scare you to death, don't they? My oldest son, Dylan, is in a hospital. Didn't they? What did he do? He's sick. Yeah, but why? What did he do? Oh. Crashed his bike, didn't he? Yeah. And he's all right, incidentally. And he, and, he, and I, when I ever sleep at night, I hear him being on 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 his. On his iPad. You hear him on his iPad when you're asleep? 
Well, he's not now. He's in hospital for two days. I was checking him Why out. Why is there a big potato behind? That was off at the garden. That one don't count. Oh, yeah. But he managed to crash his bike and give himself a minor concussion. Now, luckily, he had an helmet on. So, if he had no helmet on, then I don't know. But fortunately, he wore his helmet. Or he, or he doesn't ride bikes. Well, yeah, he's better not riding bikes, isn't he? Sometimes. Yeah. But like I said, he scared the poop out of us yesterday. He's still in hospital, he'll be back tomorrow. They keep him in two days for um, observation. Now what I've done with this, I'm going to wet it all up again and put some more of them, uh, them plants in what I've got started in instead. I might put some more beans in or I might actually just put them radishes in it. It's quite warm. Like a professional now. Now these scales don't go down to quarter, uh, quarter ounce, they do pounds and ounces, but they don't go down to quarter ounce. And remember this is a spudinator, and this had no normal scale hey, in it. Down there. Is there one in there? Yeah, put them all in there. Go on, get them in there. The spudinator's had best results so far, but that one, this result, I don't know. I think that actual putting soil in them really helped. To keep, to, keep, to keep them drier. Pounds. See nothing. Two pound. So again, on back of that cage, two best results, three best results, all off the spud uh, spudomatic. So it could be interesting to see what rest do. But I've got to, I've got to replant all them um, brassicas up what I've got, and uh, I'll get some plants inside uh, into this bucket and get it back on the uh, on on the wall, so to speak. Just while I'm here, I thought I'd show you this. This is just some calcium for tomatoes, and I bought some liquid for tomato food. It's, this is all bio, so it's just uh, got to do something. I have tried some. I did try some um, Epsom salts. They picked, they picked up a bit, but they really need a feed for sure. So, and calcium won't do them any harm either, because I did have one with a bit of bot, with a bit of rot on when it when it ends at tomatoes. So. That's that sorted. Just give a better look at that. I know I, I, we've got one of these, but it's got no cutting edges on it as such. But it's got two good cutting edges on it. That's nice, you know, just to get in behind underneath a cabbage or something. So that's my new favourite garden tool at the moment. 